hello everyone welcome to this video in this one we are going to create a policy that you can use to restrict the permitted operating systems now I'm going to give you this link to this particular Microsoft documentation where they have a general guide that you can use but you have to spend some time to figure out what is going on so in general what it's telling you so this first block is telling hey if the deployment is virtual machine or the virtual machine skill set then look and look for all of these fields okay it has to be microsoft image publisher for microsoft windows server the image offer has to be from microsoft server the field for image sku has to match the 2012 r2 data center and it has to be the latest copy of it if it's not then the effect is denied you will not be able to deploy it now the first thing that i'm going to do i'm going to go to azure and just search for policy and that's where you need to go to create your policy now even before you create the policy I'm just gonna go create the virtual machine and uh, click create virtual machine and I'm just gonna put it under say test OS so 2012 uh, say Windows and then I'm gonna choose a 2012 Windows data center and uh, just fill out some information here and then I'm gonna create review and create so right now I don't have any policy so this one should let me deploy this particular uh, 2012 machine right so it uh, goes through the validation another thing I'm gonna do is click on this download a template for automation okay that is important and the thing that I'm looking for in here is the SKU uh, and let me see the SKU is right over here okay image reference escape so one thing you notice this the the way it's written it's very different than what you have uh, on the github or on the uh, on the Microsoft site so the sample template is 2012 r2 data center it's not it does that doesn't match with this so the way I need to write okay is this which I have already written and put it in my github and I'll, I'm gonna give it to you so I have really simplified the policy a whole lot okay so I'm only saying hey just look whether it's a compute engine if it, it could be any type of virtual machine either a virtual machine or virtual skill set and I'm I only want to look for the field and this time I'm I'm I've changed that from in to like and I, I just changed that to 2012 R2 data center now if you use only this one it will be very very restrictive and you can only deploy a 2012 data center in your Azure environment but say I want to also uh, want to deploy the Red Hat so if you still edit at 8.2 so if you, if you if I if you do the same thing as I did for the other one so if I go back and go back to virtual machine create a virtual machine okay and this time if i just say red hat uh, 8.2 or just say red hat 82 and select my red hat and then uh, password say use student and student and then again I do review and create okay it will give me the download a template for automation right I'm gonna click on that one as soon as I get to that point okay and again what I'm looking for is the uh, SKU and it's prepared it's right here okay so image reference again the reference is coming from Red Hat, but it's a Microsoft compute type of uh, uh, resource. And SKU is 82 or 8.2 is 82, and then it's a generation 2. So that's how why I took it and I pasted it in here and I said, hey, like 82 star, that means if there is a Gen 3 at a later point, I can use that one as well. But if it's not a uh, Windows Server 2012 or a Red Hat 8.2, it is going to deny the deployment of that um, our virtual machine. So now you, I have created the sample. Now how and and where do you go and to create and create the policy? So now go back to Azure, 
and uh, go to policy go to definitions and I always like to start with the uh, with, with, with the existing ones. So I'm just going to go with uh, policy and find any of the existing one. I say I'm going to use the top one, say duplicate definition. So that should give me a template. I'm going to choose a definition location as the subscription. You can choose any other you like. Here I'm going to name it allowed OS versions. Okay, so copy this one. Mm -mm copy this one paste it over here and then compute is fine and really what uh, you need to change is this section that is inside this if block right here okay so that is what you need to change uh, and for our purposes if I go over here you see I have done this work already so this portion so I'm just gonna copy the whole thing and uh, come back over here and replace this with my version of the policy where I'm uh, specifying if this you, you're when you're deploying if your image SKU matches any of this or that then you can deploy but if not then you gotta deny this okay so now I'm gonna save this one now just creating a policy does not mean anything so if I go to assignment there is nothing assigned so this one I'm going to delete this one is from some testing uh, let me go back to the definitions again make sure that I still have the custom definition that we created okay I have two that one I was testing another I just created so just to to remove any com confusion I'm just going to delete both of them and quickly create that policy one more time policy definition again I'm going to store it here uh, name it uh, allowed OS then do allowed OS and then keep this copy the code from here one more time come back over here so I'm just recreating the policy one more time just to create any confusion okay so now the policy is here and this time I made a mistake on my definition so here the definition a l o l o w e d so you can change your name anytime you like so resave so this this policy is not assigned it is not assigned over here so now I can click on the assign policy I'm going to pick up the policy from here and easily you can click on custom to get to the policy select and I'm going to change the assignment name as uh, sign okay and you can have a big description if you like and make sure this is enabled and say review and create and now you have created the policy and the policy should only allow the two virtual machines so now it's time to test the policy go back go to virtual machine hit on create virtual machine now put it under any upper any resource group let's try first try with 2019 win and our expectation is this is going to fail student and uh, this and review and create and let's see what happens this 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 although this says validation passed and it's i think microsoft should do this better uh, i expect them the policy validation to happen happening here but you will see that if i create uh, create this policy although it says validation successful it should stop the deployment let's see if that stops it over here or not and it's uh, still trying to deploy which is not a good thing that is that might mean that my policy didn't didn't work properly so let's see what happens oh, oh it started deploying so while this is going on let's go back and validate that our policy that we created that ah, deployment failed <laughs> so that is was my expectation right so now if I go and click on it it says okay it, it created couple things but when it get to the virtual machine it says hey no but you cannot do that so if you come over here and look at the raw error 
it says hey this policy was denied because this particular operating system uh, is not allowed okay so let's come back over here let's try to create a different virtual machine with uh, let's say test os and uh, 2012 win and this time instead of selecting the 19 let's choose 2012 student and student and let's create so this time my expectation is it will validate here and this time it will be able to create all the resources and we should have a virtual machine created at the end so let's just try that one see what happens so now it's going through the initial deployment and uh, this time it my expectation is that it will be successful because we have the policy where we said uh, you can deploy windows 2012 server data center like over here you see both of these got created and now the windows uh, windows 2007 compute the virtual machine now getting created and now it's all done now you can go the resource okay what about the linux so let's try to create a linux i know that we have said that only linux uh, red hat version is selected so if i try ubuntu my expectation is it's going to fail okay let's try that one out as well student and student and review and create uh, so the let's see if it catches at the very decent time it did not so we will hit we'll have to create the hit button here and it may start the deployment but as soon as it hits to the uh, virtual machine section it should stop uh, your deployment so let's see what happens here just give it a minute and so this time again we are trying to create a ubuntu and look at that it says it's forbidden and that's where it showed up you can click on this one and it should say that it's disallowed by this particular policy assignment that we have done and again the final test is to check for the red hat so this time i'm going to create a virtual machine put it under test os i'm going to say linux 8.2 and let's select a red hat version of it and go with the password use a student user and that and review and create and this time my expectation is it's very recently successful and your deployment will also be successful okay now this is a very basic version of the policy so, so you can take this and keep improving this policy add more fields to it fine tune it but hopefully this is going to give you a good starting point that you can use to build on your own policy where you're going to add and restrict the operating systems that you want to use within your environment look at that this is successful so i have successfully only allowing windows server 2012 and Linux uh, version 8.2 everything else is not allowed that means that they're denied so again we went through a bunch of different things so pay attention what we have done uh, do it a couple of times look at my github repo what we have done use this to to modify edit uh, these resources and fields for the operating system versions that you want to use and good luck uh, enforcing operating system version policy in your Azure environment. Thank you. If you like the video, please like it and subscribe and share it with your friends. Leave any comments that you may have. Thank you very much.